everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about credit and what you need to buy a house. A lot of you have been sending me messages about you want to buy a house. So I figured I might as well go over it, the correlations. There's certain things that you need to know. First of all, you need to make some money. Multiple streams of income because depending on what type of loan you're going to get, you may be able to only use 35% of your income for debt to income ratio. You might be able to use 40%. It all depends on your credit score. Depends on what type of loan package you're getting. For instance, a lot of people don't want to put down that much money. So what do you do? You got to get an FHA loan. FHA, you only need 3.5% down. $200,000 house, 7,000 down, plus a few little bit other closing costs. Let's call it 1,800 more. So you could be around 8,800, 8,500, somewhere like that. So what do you need? Credit, your credit score. Middle score, FICO score needs to be 600. They say 580, but sometimes that's not good enough. 600 and up. You cannot have any past due on student loans or any government loans. Otherwise, you will not get approved. So here's the little deal. If you do have student loans, what do you need to do is take, it's going to take you three to four months to get current and then you'll be able to get the loan as long as your credit score is 600 or above. If your credit score is not 600 or above, please see the other videos where you can raise your credit score using some tactics that we have, even AU trade lines, which we can get done within 30 days or less. Ox Publishing, Hut and Chase, 30 days or less. So that can help you out and boost your credit score up in case you're trying to get a home in a quick, fast way. Now, let's go conventional. Where do you say, well, I'm not gonna qualify for the FHA. Now you go, we'll go conventional. You're gonna need a higher credit score. Same rules apply. See the previous videos where we're talking about how to boost your credit score. You'll see links down below. In fact, I'll put a card on here so you'll have a link to a video on how to increase your credit score fast. I did it last week. So these are the kind of things that you have to think about. You're gonna need a higher score, 680, 720, potentially even more than that, depending on how the economy is. And your interest rate is gonna be based on your credit score as well. As you know, we've talked about this several times, you're gonna need that. So I'm carrying around t-shirts on this trip right here. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me because I'm trying to walk to uh, my gate, wherever it is, not leaving anytime soon. So that's why we're doing this video. But back to the business at hand. If you're trying to get that mortgage done, you're gonna need the highest credit score as possible. So you gotta get started right now. You can't do last minute when you're talking about mortgages. You wanna be in the 700s. So take your time. And there's no reason to do it in advance anyhow. Reason being, housing prices aren't going anywhere. They're not rising. So there's no time of the essence to do anything. You can sit back, relax, and wait for them to come down. But in the meantime, get your credit score closer to 700 or above the best you can. Because then other opportunities arise. Instead of you having to put down 10% or 20%, you might be able to put down 5%. Some of you might want these mansions where you're gonna need jumbo loans. Do you really wanna to have to put down 20% if a house costs 800,000? I'm just saying, and I know a lot of you are saying, what are you, what are you talking about $800,000 houses? Where's that at? Well, California kid, you know it's in Cali. It could be in New York and you know it could be in Silicon Valley. It could be in uh, a lot of few places around America, Miami, things like that. But most people aren't in that stratosphere. But $200,000, $300,000 homes, you still need good credit if you want the best loan packages. 
So therefore, you got to boost your credit score up before you buy a house. It's critical because the interest you pay is a lot of money. I'll give you a perfect example. So let's just say for instance, that we get the, uh, uh, let's see, I gotta keep it simple where I can remember the numbers. But let's just say it was crazy, 9% interest, and you get a $200,000 house. So basically in eight years, you didn't pay double as far as the interest goes. Think about that. You bought a $200,000 house, you're gonna be paying $200,000 in interest, the power of 72. That's how you know when your money doubles. You divide your percentage by 72, and that's how many years it doubles. So some people have 30 year mortgages, and you end up paying three times the cost of the house. And then when a person sells their house, they think they made money. This is the big fallacy, the big cult that America has put upon the American citizens believing your house went up after you then paid it double the value. Crazy, right? Think about it. So anyhow, this is short, this is sweet, and get your credit right, and that's all I gotta say. I forgot about a few things. Regarding collections, any derogatory information when you're trying to buy a house, the mortgage companies want you to clean that up. Sometimes they have to be paid off if they show up on your credit report. That's why you have credit repair going on when people buy homes often. So just keep this in mind. The other thing, people who have been in the military don't realize that you have a VA loan that you can get. Some people I've ran into 10, 15 years later talking about I want to get a home and I'm like, you're a veteran. You have special loans for that. So why not take advantage? So keep that in mind. Go look into it but the same rules are gonna apply. You're gonna to have to have pretty decent, clean credit. You can't have collections. You can't have other things on your credit report that want you to clean it up most of the time. So I had to interject that. And please, like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. So keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.